Good afternoon, Ty Curran coming to you from Pier 33 Marina in St. Joseph, Michigan. Today we have a chance to try out the Ravalo R226 Cayman. This is an absolutely rugged bay boat, suitable for offshore fishing as well as inland fishing, and the types of fishing features that will appear to all anglers. You've got three live wells, you've got plenty of passenger seating, rod storage, lockable rod storage, and even a porta potty compartment built into the console. We're going to show you how this boat performs with a very powerful Yamaha 250 horse VMAX in the back. And I'm also going to let you see what the boat looks like from bow to stern so that you can really enjoy the Rabalo Cayman. I'm going to give it a little spin around here for Alex as he works the camera. Take a look at the beautiful profile of the Rabalo Cayman 226. At the helm, I'm equipped with a Garmin 7-inch XS series screen, fantastic depth finder, fish finder, as well as a GPS plotter. You also see a leaning post. You'll see flip-up bolsters on here, cooler seat underneath, rod holders across the back. Very well equipped. Now let's get underway and take it for a ride. We're getting ready to take a run up the St. Joseph River aboard the Rabalo R226 Cayman. You're going to get an opportunity to experience the performance and power of this Yamaha 250 horse VMAX. Enjoy the ride. you're going to enjoy about the Cayman the most is the stability of this boat in the water. I can walk edge to edge and the boat barely moves along with me. Fantastic casting deck back here. We've got another casting deck up front we'll show you in just a moment. Again, the Cayman is just packed with fishing features. In addition to that aft casting deck that we showed you, the Rabalo R226 Cayman has got a very broad forward casting deck. Lots of wide, flat walk around area to make you comfortable when you're casting from up front. There's room for a fishing seat, and I'm wishing that I brought the trolling motor with us because that would have been a great way to just hang out for the afternoon. We've got a fish box on one side, another recirculating live well in the center, and lockable rod storage off to the port side. Perfectly set up for 